Hello! You must have been clicking on my videos. If you're here for another Callaway 157 MX Bike Special, welcome, good evening, good night, good morning, depending on your time zones, wherever you are, you are loved, you are welcome. Welcome to another Mother Hubbard video. So before we do anything, smash that like button because likes are important. It's the commodity of today's YouTube algorithm and it takes two seconds of your time. If you're enjoying the content, smash the like button because that helps me reach other mofos and that is always welcome. Also, link for the track will be in the bottom. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We're here at AK Farms MX 2013. I hope I'm saying this correct by AZ Desert Rat. What a name, what a name. But he has made a cracker of a track. I'm not sure if it's a replica uh, or anything like that. But I've recently played this uh, on the live stream we did yesterday with G Dub, TFC, uh, Bayer, and TK Smokey. And I will link the live stream in there as well if you want to hear me talk utter nonsense for a couple of hours. But I had a great time. Those guys are awesome. And uh, we'll be looking to do more of that in the future for sure. I'll probably be doing my first live stream this Sunday. So, you know, get involved. It'll be an open public lobby. You guys are always welcome to come show me up because, you know, I'm pretty trash at MX bikes, but I've, I've kind of accepted it. I'm like the trash panda of MX bikes. I'm a dirty raccoon in the trash that no one wants and occasionally plays bikes. That is my mantra while playing this game. And I'm, I'm about it. I've accepted it. I, I've accepted my fate, but we're here. Creating more content, getting in people's faces, and just chatting it general utter nonsense in the hopes of a few subscribers' likes and the potential of doing more vlog videos later on. So, yeah, I've not I, I've not played this track at all. This is my first time on it was last night, and uh, I'm surprised I've not heard of it or seen of it because the public lobbies tend to be the same old things. We'll do eight million laps on the forest or Washington, and that that tends to get a little bit stale, you know. So it's nice to mix it up and do something different. And uh, these guys uh, decided they were going to do, oh my goody gumdrops, do this track and Otto Biano. And uh, this one really stood out to me. It's got some cheeky little lines in it. It's got a load of variation. Uh, if you're not an idiot like myself, you can get some great flow on it. And I really would like to see this track make a bit of a comeback in the public lobbies because it is absolutely awesome on 125. We are here on the gas house, which is essentially just a KTM for the moment. Uh, but the graphics look insane on it. And it, everyone swears by that it feels amazing. I think it's just like shiny new color that everyone's using and perhaps the KCM was better than everyone was thinking so when it comes to the oh my god Jesus Christ when it comes to the world of the KTM that's kind of the king and the 125s along with the Husqvarna so the gas gas kind of uh, fits right up into there as well so it'd be really interesting when the geometry and the engine packs come out how this bike fares and I would like to do a, a shootout video on it I have done one uh, which is quite extensive it took me hours and the fact there's more bikes kind of makes me a little bit nervous but yeah I'm, I'm happy to take that plunge and, uh, and give it a go yeah, it's got so many lines in this track we did a little 125 race here uh, last night and to be honest I might set up a fun race for the guys in my discord which if you're not a part of go and join it and uh, get involved and uh, you can be part of these fun races as well Ooh, sweet little double over oh my god stay on the bike son stay on the bike I've, uh, I've turned a lot of the filters off because um, they were actually messing with my recording a little bit and some of them look great. Um, I've seen a couple of people do like ray tracing videos on them and stuff. For whatever reason, there must be one of the filters I'm using it causes my video to come out just that little bit grainy and it kind of looks shit. So I've turned it off for now and we're just, just running the base game and it still looks fine. It still looks, uh, it still looks pretty good. Could do a little bit more colour but for whatever reason that seems to throw my recording out a little bit. Maybe it's the recording I'm using. I'm using uh, GeForce at the moment. So perhaps I will switch to OBS because that will be what I'll be live streaming on as well. Oh, trying to get that triple, triple, triple through the whoops is difficult. But yeah, as you can see, even with my hideous riding style, uh, this track has got an amazing flow to it. Kind of, I th originally thought it was a knockoff of Farm 14, but it's completely different. This line here is mega. You can get it just absolutely nailed. Go on, boy. Yes. Got a huge variation of lines. Nice little whip section coming up here. Just screams 125 all about it as well. A little bit of swappy poo. Go on, boy, get that over. Oh, no, we made it, we made it, we made it. Twishy bumhole moment. Well, one of the other things I wanted to, uh, to shoot a video tonight about as well is to give you guys like a bit of an update and stuff like that. And um, over the last like year or so, I've not been very active in any of my physical exploits and I've always been involved with some form of sport or another 
and uh, this year I've been really, you know, just up and down with it all, not being consistent, and by nature, my, I kind of identify myself as someone who's always in shape and, and athletic, and that, that's the person I'd like to be, it keeps me disciplined, I, I enjoy the physical element of it, it's to do something challenging every day like that makes me a better person overall, I'm more chill, and um, I've just decided that the things that make me happy aren't necessarily sitting in front of a computer all the time and, and while MX Bikes is amazing and I'm grateful for everything that I've got from it and the community um, I've decided that I want to go back to doing more jiu-jitsu, more gym work and, and really focus more on the real life riding as well as much as I possibly can and um, it doesn't mean that I'm quitting YouTube at all, I will still be about doing MX Bikes content but it just means I'll be like one or two videos a week plus a live stream and it means I'll be, you know, I won't be doing competitive races as often because I just won't have the seat time, I'll be getting a couple of hours a week and I'm, I'm okay with that, you know, it's, YouTube is amazing, I'd love to get monetized and make some extra money from it, who wouldn't, you know what I mean, like a... Uh, that, that's, that's kind of always been the goal for this to fund my real life riding, uh, even if it just covers some practice days and stuff. Um, but I realised that the things that make me happy, I no longer do. And uh, Jiu Jitsu has always been one of those things in my life I want to go back to. And I've decided, you know what, I, I'm not getting any younger. I, I've got goals that I want to do within the sport, and I've got to go and do it. And um, it, it leaves me being more of a productive person. Like, my girlfriend's gone for a pretty rough time over the last couple of years, and she's got her shit together. And it kind of, you know, made me think, well, well I need to help her out, be a good teammate, and, and inspired me to, to go back to being the person I want to be. And I, I don't want to quit YouTube by any means, but at the same time, I'm not going to be posting content every day because the things that I value are, are more than just playing a motocross game on, on a PC. And, and, you know, maybe my videos will be better because I'm making less of them. I'm not just going around a random track with you chatting nonsense like I am now. It'll be something more planned out and meaningful. Um, but, you know, I, I don't want to hold myself back from doing stuff that doesn't make you happy. And ultimately, no matter what anyone tells you, you are the only person that cares about your life. And you may be the main event in your character's life, but to everyone else, you're just kind of a side character. And if you're not taking care of what you're supposed to be taking care of, that leads you to be miserable. And I, I'm very much on that miserable path of why am I miserable? It's because I'm not doing this, I'm not being disciplined, I'm not doing the things that I value the most. And, and to me that's being an athlete and being physical and doing jiu-jitsu and doing weights and, and, and cracking on with those goals. You know, that means that my YouTube growth is significantly stunted and so be it. You know, the MX Bikes is a hobby, it doesn't pay the bills, it's not a job, I've still got to focus on a, a pretty intense career, I want to maintain my relationship and, and all of that stuff. And, and bikes is just a piece of the pie, it's, it's not the entire enchilada as it were and don't get me wrong I, I absolutely adore bikes it's it's my downtime it's everything else um, but I've noticed where I've tried so hard to be monetized I do nothing but sit my butt at a desk and then come home and sit down on the computer and I've just I just look like an absolute pate of a man right now and that just doesn't make me happy it doesn't make me want to get up and do the things that I should be doing and and that's never good you know if if bikes was a uh, more of a full-time YouTube career, then yeah, may maybe I would put a little bit more effort into it. But it is literally just a hobby. And uh, if one day that I, in a few years' time, I happen to hit a thousand subs, awesome, you know. And and so be it. But it's it's not at the forefront of my mind right now. And in my mind, I want to do all the things that I value most. And YouTube's like fifth or sixth in the list. It's not my be and end all. And I still got to show up every day and do my job. Show up every day to the gym. That that's that's what's going to progress me and my happiness. So. You know, uh, it kind of sucks because I was really hoping to, to get monetized by this year and, and kind of be active into the community and stuff. But at the end of the day, YouTube is a, is a tough grind, especially if you're not incredibly good at the game or, or entertaining or both. Then no one's going to want to watch your videos, you know, and, and you've got a kind of appeal within this niche market. And, and, you know, it hasn't quite worked out the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. And, and I want to, every time I hit record, I want to make sure that I'm having fun and doing the right thing and, and just having a laugh with you guys and being me and if you stop by hit the sub button and hit the like button and and you know do the thing then that's awesome you know you're, you're more than welcome we'll still be doing videos we'll still be doing live streams I'll still be involved as much as I can but it will definitely be taking a back burner this year and I'm not giving up it's, it's just it's just on the list of things to do and it's, it's if I got a day off and I fancy playing some bikes and hit record on a video great if not then a video won't be made is and, and that that will make me more happy and enjoy the game more than just pumping out video after video just for the sake of it with no one really watching it and 
that will only lead me to getting burnt out and not doing the things that I want to do. So I will still be around, I still will be chatting absolute nonsense into the camera, but it'll probably be just less frequent. Alright, let's see if we can put it in a fast lap. I know this is just a KTM, but like my brain is like, ooh, this gas gas is good. I heard a lot of people say they actually prefer them in real life as well. I'm not going to make this, I'm not going to make this. Ooh. Jesus, would have just murdered myself there. Right, let's do one more lap and then we'll close out from there because that is a, a good way to end. Oh my god. Alright, let's see if we can do a clean lap, shall we? Jesus. Jesus. I don't know if it's better to skim these, but I have been triple, triple, triple. It may be better to... Oh my god. I can't even stay on the bike. Come on, let's get a clean lap in. I think the finish line is coming up in a second. Uh, it's over this bit, I believe, or the next one. Must be the next one. This track's epic. If you, uh, I definitely think you guys should give this a go. All right, let's do this. Let's do one more lap. Yeah, I think this is finish line here. Boom. Oh, nearly quadding in there. Oh, nearly murdered myself in the process. Nice. Oh, what is this line? Oh, I've messed it up. Ball wags. Should have took the right line. Finish his lap anyway. Finish his lap anyway. But yeah, it's got some awesome rhythms. Um, I don't know what it'd be like on the bigger CC bikes, but it's perfect for a 125. It's scaled really well. Track flow is awesome. When it's, once you do get it dialed in, it is an absolute gem. So uh, yeah, give this one a go. It'd be wicked to see this in a public lobby. Nice, 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 nice. Nailed it that time. Got a little bit wide. If you get this outside line, just rail it in fifth. Why not? Lovely. Oh, look at that. Chef's kiss. And that'll do her. That'll do her. I don't want to keep you guys for too much longer, but yeah, just, uh, just a quick one for me with an update. And uh, it's been peace, it's been love. I hope you guys have had a, a wonderful Christmas and year. If not, better luck next year, I guess. And uh, yeah, I, I really do appreciate the support and stuff. And it, it's been awesome to get to know some of you guys in the community. And I will still be about. Just uh, now and again, I'll drop in as a rare treat. But, yeah, until next time, keep your uh, dicks clean, keep your feet dry. Catch you guys later.